it's lunchtime. It's 4.30 on my crazy day um, of sleeping in late and I haven't even showered yet. Um, today has been really emotional. So let's tell you that right now. And I think it has a lot to do with a lot of the emotions that I've been stuffing down with food are now starting to come out. And I know it seems rather dramatic, but it's true. Um, you know, my life is not perfect. I have a lot of things that are, you know, incomplete, um, stacked up. I mean, for all intents and purposes, you could probably call me a hoarder of such. But, you know, there's places in my house where there's things that are stacked up that haven't been touched forever, and for whatever reason, I hang on to them, and I'm starting to face all that stuff. <laughs> Day four on my road to a healthier life. And so for lunch today, <laughs> to, to stick with the plan and to continue to do this, I did not want to videotape right now. Not at all, because I didn't, I felt like I don't want to cry on these videos. I don't want to be so emotional, but I guess that then I wouldn't be being real and I wouldn't be being me. And this isn't easy. And for those of you who are watching silently, who are also suffering and don't know what to do, you can come here and I will give it straight to you exactly how it is. You know, it's not, I know it's not pretty. And I know I'm also not perfect with my food, but you know what? This is much better than I have been in a long, long time. And I'm committed to it and I'm sticking to it. And so, you know, for those of you who are along for the journey, I thank you so much again, because, you know, I guess for a certain, there's a certain part of me that's not just doing it for me. I know that you're cheering me on, and I know that you're coming and watching the videos, and that you're, you know, you're here to support me and love me. And please, keep sending your tips. I've gotten emails from people about, you know, uh, tips for sugar cravings and different recipes and I'm trying to compile things so that I can share it with everybody as time goes on. Um, I started my 150 pounds or bust fan page on Facebook and a lot of that stuff is going to show up, you know, right there on that page for you. So it'll be easy. Feel free to comment and share any of your own recommendations or any of your own personal struggles. I'd want to hear those too. So, um, you know, on a lighter note, I got an email from my sister today who lives in Kansas City. And she has, you know, also struggled with her weight. And she's always inspired me and made me so proud because she's worked so hard to look how good she looks. And she has another 15 pounds to go to her goal weight. I hope you don't mind me sharing that, Mary Sue. But, you know, but she struggles as well. And she said it's the voices in her head that keep telling her to get beer or wine or eat nachos. And I know exactly the voices that she's talking about because those voices show up in my head too. But the voices in my head are more like, go ahead, do it. Nobody will know. And it's really sad because I'll know. <laughs> And I have lost respect for myself in that regard because I've allowed myself to say that to myself so many times. But I'm not saying it anymore. Because I will know and it does matter to me. So today's lunch is a nice healthy salad. Two cups. Um, the green beans from the other night that are actually they were steamed but they weren't like steamed completely so they're still kind of raw. And there's one cup of green beans going in the salad. I've also got um, just a half, uh, it's about a half a cup of apple chopped up. I didn't want to eat the whole apple, but I like it because it gives that nice uh, sweet flavor to the salad. And then I have that chicken breast from last night's dinner, that or, or chicken turkey breast, ground turkey uh, burger that I went ahead and just warmed up and then chopped up and I'm putting it in my salad and just going to toss it all together. Um, I have a cup of that green juice that I shared with you the other day and I am going to right now let you see me measure out two tablespoons of this uh, oil, olive oil vinaigrette uh, Bolt House Farms dressing. Um, it's also a little sweeter and I know I've had people comment on that, and uh, you know I'm I'm slowly pulling back on the sugar. Read the nutritional. 
um, on the label it says 30 calories, um, 0.5 grams of fat, there are 6 grams of carbohydrates and 5 grams of sugar. So, you know, it's not horrible when I look at the ingredients list, you know, apple juice, concentrate, white wine, I mean sugar doesn't even show up on the list at all. I mean it's in, I know it's in those apple juices and that, but it's, it's more of a natural uh, healthy sugar. So that's it. That's it for lunch. Um, I did it. I made it through the video. And like I said, I'm not going to apologize for <laughs> anything that I am sharing with you because this is just really me. Ask anybody. Troy, there you go. You asked for some tears. You got some tears, buddy. All right, guys. Love you.